Hey everyone, you're watching The Speed of Kurt, and I am fucking exhausted. I've been messing with recording programs all night, trying to record shit the right way. I had to fuck around with OBS a bunch more to get this to record properly again. Hopefully when I get a new laptop the hardware will be more convenient for this kind of thing. I think having both an integrated GPU and like an NVIDIA GPU or whatever just fucks with recording software. Anyway, now that I've got it working properly, let's explore. Let's go check out that icy area off to the east. I've been curious about that area. What are you doing, wizard? I think I'm going the right way. Yep. Oof. A ship. Nice. Not sure if there's much to do here. Maybe I can take the netting. Nice. I don't think there's anything else to do here, really. Hmm. Ah, oh, map. Oh! It actually did something! Holy shit! I'm a wind waker now. Ooh. I Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. Let's get out of here, it's too cold. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if there's anything up here I can kill. Nope. Just the sword. <laughs> I wonder if I have enough mana for a dart. Hmm. Well, I doubt that did anything. Oh. A growly boy.
Ugh, ow. Ha ha! Winner, winner. Doggy dinner. Uh, although I don't have a knife or anything, so I can't really do anything with the body. Nah. Oh shit. I'm exhausted and freezing. I hope I get back in time. Mmm. Oh dear. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I should have known this would happen. I'd I'd find something cool and then I'd die. Uh, this is Oh, I still have Arctic winds. Where am I? Oh. Huh. The game must have given me a bit of warmth to stop me from, like, being stuck. Well, in any case, I have an idea of something to do with my new spell. I think I'll try... And I'll see if it'll knock that gem down in that house. You know, the one I'm talking about? First, I'll have a rest in the guild house. Cool. I shall be in my workshop later. Okay. Oh, it's locked. Hello, hero lady. Do you have some good stories for me? Let us speak of the woodlands. It is the forest around Fort Sigtuna. It is full of wolves and trolls. So Mother says I must not go too far from the city wall. There is lots of trees, of course, but there may be another village somewhere. There could even be Jabberwocks in the woods. Do you know of the blue icy flowers? The flowers are pretty, but Mother told me to never touch them. If you touch one, you will freeze. It's like standing outside without a warm coat. I usually walk by them early in the afternoon. It's a good spot for training my sword. I have been to the Grand Lake. Uncle Snorri told me that the Jarl keeps his flying ship there. I would love to be on a flying ship, and Mother told me that she likes flying too. It will not be long until spring, and then the ice melts and we can use the lake again. It is frozen now, you know? Hmm, maybe after I stop the Fimble Winter I'll be able to move that ship. There are nasty vargs in the forest. They are big wolves, 
like Garm, only bigger and with large teeth, too. And they travel in packs, so if you think you're only fighting one, be prepared to deal with more of them before resting. Garm is Jarl Ilfing's dog. He is nice, but the Vargs are not nice. They will eat you if you're not careful. I want to have a dog that would chase animals for me and fetch things. Maybe a small wolf or other animal if I can catch one. A warrior's companion. Why is there a sword in the tree? My father made a very powerful sword. The best sword ever, and he stuck it in a tree. It would burst into flame when drawn out. He tells me it was made after life of time, the big flaming sword that Loki the Lysmith gave to Surger the Black. Surger is the king of the Muspel, who are giant and on fire. And the only thing that could stop life of time is the wood of the world tree Yggdrasil. It will burn all of Midgard otherwise. So that is why my father stuck the flaming sword in a tree. I think this sword might be for me. But then I have to train very hard with my wooden sword first. Do not tell anyone. But sometimes I climb over the city wall to go look at it. It is a very good sword. Good luck with your training. Come back soon and tell me about your ventures. Hmm. Okay. I will sleep for the night. Well, actually, I will sleep four hours. Night time. Yes, what is it? Tell me about Balmung. Years ago, I crafted my masterpiece, the sword Balmung. Its edge is second only to the spear of Odin, bringer of victory. And the heat of the forge burns ever in its blade, yet only the pure of heart may wield it. This shall be my legacy in Midgard. I have thrust it into a tree where it shall remain until a worthy soul pulls it out. I hope this honor shall be Hymie's. Hopefully it'll be me instead. I would like to buy some of your wares. Meet me in my workshop, and I shall show you my craft. Let us speak later. May your blade always be keen. Until dawn. I am refreshed. How very refreshing. It is good to see you safe again in Fornsic Tuna. If you have any needs or questions, I am sure my townsfolk can help you with that. Ah, oh. where the heck is the blacksmith? Maybe I'll just try exploring outside some more. What are you doing? Welcome, traveler. We may be in an endless winter with our food supplies running out, but I still manage to keep my tavern open. What do you know of Munarvagir? Oh, the people from Munavagir are nice enough. 
At least one of them is. Did you need a letter delivered? Yes, I do. There are not many people traversing the forest in the Thimble Winter, and some of us have gotten it into our heads that Munavagir is somehow our enemy. So, I would like you to find your way through all the evil snow, talk to the oh-so-scary humans in Munavagir, and give this letter to the resident healer. Lith is his name. Lith, hmm? Sounds like you want to get a bit frisky. I wish you good health. Be careful out there. Yanvadir is dangerous, and the winter is cold. Ooh, that's a pretty tree. The willow branches rustle pleasantly in the breeze. You have the feeling that this tree is much older than the rest of the forest. This feels like the kind of tree that is protected by the Vaitir. You think it would be unwise to climb it lest you offend them. I thought I saw footprints. Animal tracks. Oh, okay. A bandito. Ouch. Mm. Yeah. Take that. Some odds and ends as well as three silver pieces. How wonderful. Leather armor. Was I already? Am I already wearing that, or did I find that? I'm not sure. Oh, it's this thing. I remember this. <laughs> well, I found you. No, human. That's your doom. Is that hand? So, how exactly is my doom at hand? I shall poke out your eyes with my sharp, sharp tail. I shall hide all the acorns you are stealing for winter. I shall bite your bones and not on your marrow. Aw, such a cute little squirrel. Really? Uh, no, I'm not cute. I am evil and misshapen and vile. My sharp, nasty teeth are too. Yes. What is your name? 
What? You do not recognize me? Oh, Ratatask! Ratatask the mighty! Ratatask whose teeth cut the branches of the Jusil itself! Ratatask, the original Doom Squirrel! <laughs> Gaze upon my visage and tremble! You cannot even reach my eyes. Oh, do not act so tough. Whenever you walk underneath a tree, know that Ratatask may be lurking on the branch of the bell, ready to pounce on you. Ratatask, the Doom Squirrel! Leave me alone. Beware, puny human, for I shall be back for you. The Doom shall find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you run away. Little shit. Mm -hmm. Ooh, looks like there's something up here. So not not right now. And now I think I shall attempt to get back to safety. Although I think I might freeze before I get back. No, leave me alone. Safety. Thank you, good lady, for scaring off that bad man. Yes, what is it? What can you tell me about the city? Forn Sigtuna is the grandest city in this part of Midgard. It is the capital of Yanvadir and the major trade destination on Lake Ganvik. There is a village southeast of here, which is under protection of our Jarl, even though the inhabitants do not wish to be. What do you think of Lithrasir? The Lady Lithrasir runs the local tavern, Sleipnir's Inn. She's a good friend of my wife. What is Jarl Ilfing like? I am sworn vassal to Jarl Ilfing, the brave and noble ruler of Forn Sigtuna. We shall not gossip about him without him present. Do you know the wizard Orvindel? Our resident wizard is the Jarl's chief advisor. He is skilled enough, but I do not care for his roundabout language, <laughs> though I know little of him. Roundabout language, that's one way of putting it. Let us speak later. May your blade always be keen. Maybe he's going to open up his shop now.
At last! Yes, hmm. what is it? Wonder what I would he like is for to buy sale. Some of your wares. I craft the finest weapons and armor in this land. What is it that you need? Hmm. The battle axe looks impressive. A powerful warrior needs a powerful weapon. And what could serve you better than a two bladed axe? Judging by your posture, you do not have the skill to use this weapon. How rude. Do you have a dagger for close combat? These handcrafted daggers make an excellent melee weapon. And they can serve as a tool to skin animal hide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Surely you are not serious. <laughs> Uh. Surely you are not serious. Done. Hmm. I am interested in buying chainmail. A wise choice. If you plan to do a lot of traveling, then you need the best protection to keep you safe. I believe this armor is too heavy for you. Uh. And would interfere with your spell casting. I will buy this pick from you. It is a simple tool, but well crafted. I would be happy to sell it to you. My craft is the finest in the land. <sighs> Make me a better offer. Come on, man. I expect you to offer more than your previous bid. Uh, Done. Okay. Let us speak later. May your blade always be keen. Okay, let's see. Ice pick. Uh, ah, and the dagger. No, oh, I didn't do anything. That gemstone is none of your business. <sighs> of course, of course. <laughs> okay. sense that you have grown in power, causing your magical powers to grow because of your growing understanding of magic. I am happy to see this growth. How may I be of assistance on this freak's day? Or can I otherwise help by assisting you? I read that you are in need of herbs. Being a somewhat skilled alchemist, I employ my alchemy to brew potions to restore my magical power, or mana. These potions are known as mana potions, and are both potable and potent. However, I find I am lacking a particular ingredient, which I currently lack, and which is a necessary ingredient for my potable potions of magical mana. This ingredient is known as Artemisia vulgaris, or more commonly known as mugwort. If you know this ingredient, please locate me a suitable supply, so that I can use this to supply my alchemy with ingredients. Mm. Ooh, magic for I'm sale. I'm curious what magic you have for sale. You should come to the upper floor of the castle and visit me in my chambers in the castle upstairs, which is a more fitting place to discuss this discussion. I wish you good health. Best of luck in your travels, sorceress. Although you do not need luck while traveling, because, as a sorceress, you will have sorcery at your disposal during your travels.
Okay. I think I'll wrap it up here because I'm out of time. Um, next time we might go talk to the wizard in his tower and see if we can buy some magic. Or not, considering I already spent everything I had. Um, so maybe we'll just explore some more out in the, in the forest or try to get down to that marker that is where I'm supposed to go for the story or something. I shall leave you in peace. And with that, I will say goodbye. So, I hope to have a higher view count next time I upload something or record something or whatever. Just watch again next time or else. See ya!